Good morning guys and gals, Froggy here. What I'm going to show you today is my knee pads. These are my favorite knee pads. I use them for all kinds of uh, work uh, so I can get a few extra miles out of my knees before I have a knee replacement. Anyway, one of these little buttons broke off. You can see I did a repair on this once before. And they're really good knee pads. They've got a they've got a nice strong strap on the bottom that's not elastic. And they've got an elastic strap on the top. They work really good. But this uh, one of these buttons broke off. So instead of tossing them out and buying a new pair of good knee pads, which would probably run me 20 bucks or so, I'm going to try and uh, fix these. I found a a bolt that has a big flat head on it about the right size I tested it it'll it'll fit into this clip so what I'm going to do is nut it on two sides with a couple of flat washers that I found these are like fiber flat washers but they should work and I'm going to screw that in there I'm going to use my cutoff tool to cut off the long end and then I'll put something uh, there's some kind of uh, a silicone uh, sealer on this side so it doesn't rub on my leg or my knee. So uh, anyway, let's get started. First thing i got to drill, drill this out and drill a hole there. Uh, i got uh, my quarter inch drill and I'm going to put this up against a piece of wood so I can press down on it. Uh, I'm probably not going to be able to get it dead center because there's a, the, the remains of that button that fell off from in there but I get it close enough. Yeah, I already drilled it but I just want to show you this. Just went right through there with my drill. Um, now I'm going to uh, put that uh, the bolt through with the nuts and I think I'll put some Loctite on them so that they don't loosen up. This is some new um, Loctite tape. Uh, I got a little sample of it at the at the races where I was at um, last weekend. So I'll, let's try that out. Okay, there's the Loctite tape on there. Um, I probably put a little bit too much, but uh, anyway, we're going to uh, screw it all together now and then cut off the long end. Okay, we've got it, uh, got it in the vise here and I'm cranking down on it. I want to really get it pretty tight so that it disappears down into this padding and I won't have too much sticking out and hit me in the knee. So I think I'm about there. Now I'm going to cut this off with the cutoff wheel and then uh, as I told you I'm going to put some uh, some silicone over it. Kind of build up a little soft lump there just in case it, it rubs. I don't know. I don't think it will rub that bad but we'll see. All right, I'm going to give you a little idea of what I'm going to do here. I don't know if I can do this one-handed or not, but here's my cutoff tool. the side of my uh, cutoff tool disc and I ground it down a little bit. Um, that's about it. Now I'm going to cover it up with some silicone. This is um, some household silicone sealant. Excellent adhesion. Uh, dries flexible. Obviously I'm not trying to seal anything here but I'm just trying to cover up that hard nut and bolt there. So I'm going to try this. You know, sometimes this stuff dries up, but um, this one appears to still be flowing pretty good. So I'm just going to just 
spread it all around here. I might have to do two coats. We'll see how well it covers. I'm just going to put a big glob of it there. And then I'm going to press it down a little bit. Mm. Might as well use it up. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm gonna I'm gonna let it start to harden a little bit, and then I'm gonna press down on it. So give me a few minutes. Well, there you go. I think uh, Froggy just saved himself 20 bucks and uh, repaired these knee pads. Uh, so um, if this helps you out at all, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more from Froggy, subscribe to my channel. Froggy out. i got to let this sit uh, 24 hours, it says, for the silicone to set up. Otherwise, it will get stuck to my knee. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.